You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a, a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Pastor Marcos Zephyr. Welcome. Nice meeting you, Mark. Nice meeting you. Uh, you're a neighbor right nearby on Warren Avenue, the um, Brockton Portuguese Seventh Day Adventist Church. Got it right? Exactly. Okay. Perfectly. Um, that is right across the street on Warren Ave to Vincentes. The, yes. The brand new Vincentes. And there is a big sign in front of your church. It's, 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 it's a good size right up next to the building for a wonderful event that you're doing this upcoming weekend. Yes. Um, as a church, our concern, one of our concerns is uh, serving our community. And we are going to have this uh, health screening or health affair, if you prefer uh, to call it this way. So, yeah, it's going to be this coming uh, Sunday. And our purpose is to help as many people as we can with their uh, various needs um, since, uh, from, from haircuts to uh, high, blood, uh, bl uh, high blood pressure uh, checking and other issues re uh, related to their health. So we're going to have some doctors coming. It says right here, for a healthier and happier Brock. There you go. Okay. Yes. And what's listed on the, the, the flyer, the email that I have, and you have a lot of partners here. We'll talk about them in a minute. All right. Screening for cholesterol, screening for diabetes, blood pressure, body mass index, much more. And then looking at the partners, the ones that I can see without any glasses or anything, you have Signature Healthcare, you've got uh -huh. Good Samaritan Medical Center, you have the Neighborhood Health Center, so you have all the health organizations in Brockton, the Brockton Visiting Nurse Association, you get groups like the YMCA. Mm -hmm. So you're partnering with other community organizations. Yes, yes, we are forming a team to better serve our community, and that's our uh, that's our goal to get more and more involved with uh, these and other partners to better serve, uh, as I said, our community here in Brockton. Now it's not just Sunday. We're going to back up a day, and we're going to talk about Saturday too, because you have a walk as well, a walk against drugs, tobacco, and alcohol. Yes, uh, we understand that uh, one of the major problems we face here in, in Brockton, obviously it's not limited to Brockton, um, but here in Brockton we have um, many acts of violence, uh, product of a mix of alcohol, drugs, and things related. So we decided to, to have this uh, awareness, a walk, uh, on, on Saturday. Is starting at, uh, is starting at uh, 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. and uh, so we want to make the city uh, aware of that uh, of those dangers uh, involved behind those um, uh, things that sometimes the, the propaganda or the I would say the media makes it seem right sometimes not the media I, I couldn't say the media but those behind that uh, financing sure. uh, the tobacco company, for example, and, and right. things like that, they seem to sell a different image. But we would just want to make people think about the seriousness of those well, things. Back in the day when I was a kid, they'd give out candy cigarettes to make it look like it was cool to smoke. There okay, you go. and they marketed to kids camel specifically Joe Camel, things mm -hmm. like that. So what you're going to do is there's going to be a walk from the church, right on 28 Warren Ave. You're going to go all the way down Warren Ave to Forest. Exactly. Down to Maine mm -hmm. and back around to Pleasant Street to Warren, a nice yes. big square right in the exactly. downtown area. And uh, you'll see people, uh, you got my favorite quote on the flyer, be the change you wish to see in the world. Yes. So by putting some positive light, positive publicity on something that's very negative to remind people of the dangers, and uh -huh. I guess the evils of all of that, because mm -hmm. you're talking about addictions and you're talking about you know, drug addiction, tobacco addiction, alcohol addiction, all vices. Exactly. And why Why wouldn't a church be involved in something like that? Makes yes. perfect sense to me. Uh, and I, I, I'm so glad to hear that because obviously the Bible tells us that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and many people forgot that. They, they think their body belongs to them and they can do whatever they want with their bodies but that's not what the Bible says. And unfortunately many people nowadays think 
God is not speaking with us anymore, but I don't think God's not speaking with us. The problem is the, Bible is not, uh, the Bibles are not open, open as, as much as they should, uh, so they have been closed, and that's why people think God's not talking, but He is. And one of the things He is emphat emphatic in, all, in the whole Bible is the care we should take with this temple of the Holy Spirit, our body. Yeah, it was said so many years ago by uh, the father of the medicine. Um, he said, uh, we, our medicine should be our food and our food should be our medicine. So we have to take care of what comes into our mouth because it's going to reflect in the way we think, in the way we act and react. So while we have you here, your church, how big is it? And who came up with this idea to do all of this? How did, how did this all evolve? Very good question. <clears throat> yeah, the church is uh, 280 members. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, our program, annual program, involves uh, each month we have an emphasis mm -hmm. in one topic. And um, now we came to the point where the emphasis is going to be health. Mm -hmm. So we have emph emphasis on music, emphasis on uh, youth, mm -hmm. uh, emphasis on several other uh, um, topics that we cover throughout the year. So now being this, uh, the, the, the emphasis now being uh, health, uh, we came together. Uh, Jack is our health leader in our church. And uh, speaking with him, I have been dreaming about this initiative for several years. Mm -hmm. The only thing I, I have missed uh, so far was somebody uh, willing to engage uh, the, the, the thing and, and say, hey, let's make it uh, come out of the paper and go to the streets. And now Jack came in and he is the man. So uh, with his help, uh, it would was possible for us to move for, uh, from our intentions to our actions. So basically, it came out of, we, we have a, a board of uh, trustees uh, or a board meeting that where we discuss all of that. So it comes from a brainstorm from different leaders of the church. And uh, so it's difficult to say. It, it, team effort. Team effort. That's the way it is. Perfect. So... Uh, the Brockton Portuguese Seventh-day Adventist Church, 28 Warren Avenue, is doing two things. A walk on Saturday, uh, September 24th, uh -huh. starting at 2 p.m. from the church. Um, and then the next day, a health fair, 2 o'clock, right at the church with all sorts of screenings and everything. Give us the phone number and maybe the website for the church real quick. Sure. Uh, the phone number is 469-879-8009. I, I will um, have to, I didn't bring the website. So we'll get it from Yeah, I, I will try to provide it for you uh, immediately after this uh, meeting. But <clears throat> yeah, our phone number is this one. And people are invited to come, especially for the health screening or the health fair on, on Sunday. Everybody's uh, willing or uh, more than um, a welcome. And uh, we hope you will be willing to come and, and see for, for yourself and experience uh, the services we'll be providing uh, for free for our community. And they're welcome for church, too. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Pastor. Thank Pleasure you, to Mark. Have you on. Likewise. God bless. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.